Yeah, you can see the ones that are working on this. Okay. I actually have two of these pieces of junk. First try. It did ran. Actually, the last video I made of spring, I think, was the last time I used it. Got a little bit of cobwebs on it. The cat's trying to crawl inside the beaters. That's fine. Oh, there's gas in there. Probably stale, but should be enough to get it started. I'll see what I can do. All right. This thing is a pig to pull over. It's made horse water, but I'm telling you, it's like trying to pull it well. I never used to use it, and then I remember the guy put a new one on for hmm. Oh, that's right, because this one would leak, wouldn't it? Yeah. Go figure, eh? My little five horse has the electric start on it. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's always, every spring, the uh, points get all buggered up and it has no spark. That's probably what's wrong with it. Well, why do they do that? Like, if it's running fine this spring, why is it by fall that are... Because I heard snowblowers, they get all wet, the old ones, and they stick. That's what I heard. I'd be surprised. This thing was built in 1976. <laughs> That's what the guy told me when I took it to the garage. Well, I'm going to guess there's no spark. That'll be my first take on it. Yeah, that's nice and rusty. Alright. This one I know won't start. It's a piece of junk. We need the governor on it. Yeah. Charlotte never worked on it. I might get the guy to fix it. We'll see. See if that one runs. Well, that's a handy little thing for pathways if you did get it running. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I bought it as a spare. Well, actually, I bought it, but not realizing how small it was until I got home. And, uh, yeah, and then I went to try it. Well, it wasn't working right. It kept bogging down. I thought, it's almost like the governor isn't working. And I thought maybe it's because it was frozen. I mean, it was buried in snow when I went to look at it. But, no, the governor never worked on it. It's not even hooked up. So, uh... I'd probably do it myself, but i got too much to do. I'll set it for the guy who can fix it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it was great. It's good to do for the uh, deck. I was planning on using it for that. We get a lot of snow build up on our deck. Mm -hmm. So it all comes over the house and kind of curls around, and it just, you'd be surprised how much you can get on one snowstorm. Well, we've had it over the top of the railing. Oh, yeah. Four yeah, foot it's railing. It's been this high. The whole deck is covered in snow. And I don't need a cross on it, so. All right, well, it's coffee time now. Well, it's getting whiter every day now. And we're supposed to get a really big storm tomorrow with all kinds of crazy stuff. Rain, snow, ice, everything. Well, I had quite a battle last winter with this thing. I even had the head off of it. Got a bunch of stuff fixed. There was a key, a, um, a key on the flywheel that was bent and had the carburetor rebuilt, all this stuff, and it still doesn't want to work this year. And this thing here, it's only an 8 horse, but man, the compression. It's such a bugger to pull in to get started. Well, it was built in 1976. I think I paid $200 or some odd for it when I bought it three years ago, and I've got another 300 into it since. And a lot of frustration, so, all right. That's either a time, I think I'll retire it. Maybe I'll restore it someday. So... There, I bought myself a new bad boy. This uh, was quite an investment. I didn't really want to spend a lot of money, but we do get a lot of snow in this country, and uh, you know we got uh, kind of snowed in last year at the back part of the laneway because of my blower. So I bought this brand new. It's a pull-in, same size, 27 inch, 
They uh, they don't call engines by their horsepower anymore, but it's about an eight horse. I don't know why they stopped doing that, but it has an electric start on it, and uh, of course the pull. I mean, one finger, I can pull it, and it'll start on that no problem. And uh, it's got nice good tires on it. It doesn't have chains, but I don't know if they're going to be necessary. Those slots look pretty good on there. It comes with a stick, so I won't have to chop my hand off anymore. And uh, yeah. So one thing I have to do before I can use this thing, oh, I thought I'd show you. For anybody who's just buying a snowblower this year, um, depending where you are, like if you've got a gravel driveway, or um, well, even like a stone, you know, a stone driveway or whatever, or if you have a cement or paved driveway, there's something you want to adjust on a snowblower. And they're down here. They're I call them uh, running guides or whatever. There's probably a proper name for them, but these things right here are slides that lift up this, and you'll have a scraping edge down the bottom, right here, uh, there. And you can see how right now that's right on the dirt. Now, because of my laneway, because it's half grass, half gravel, half dirt, and sticks, and whatever else is there half the time, um, I need my guides raised up fairly high. Otherwise, what happens is you end up constantly banging the ground, and it's jerking all the time, or it picks up more uh, stones and gets up in your blower than that. If you, uh, especially at the beginning of the year, that's when it's the worst. Now, if you had a paved driveway that's really smooth, or a concrete driveway, you'd probably be fine like this. It would keep it really clean that way. So all I got to do, this is set obviously for a paved driveway right now, and uh, so I'm just going to take a few minutes and uh, raise my guides up on this, and that's probably the only adjustment I'll have to make to this blower for a long time. What I like about this one, if anybody watched my video last year, I hit a piece of fire with a small little rotten stick or whatever at the end of the driveway, and I got wedged in between the beater and the steel here. See, there's shear pins on here that should have broke. Now my old uh, snowblower, like I said, 1976, it's so old, either somebody got fed up or replacing them and just welded it, but there's actually pins in there that were seized, so they never broke, and that was the problem. There's also a shear pin here, and one on this beater here, or the auger, I should say. That way, if you ever do hit anything, even a big chunk of ice or whatever, it'll break this before it busts any of your gear mechanisms or gets anything jammed in there. But this time of year, when the driveway's brand new, I'm going to raise it up fairly high because um, there's lots of uh, spongy dirt uh, because of the uneven uh, ground that I've got and what I'll do is after it starts to pack down and freeze then I'll probably put a thinner board in it maybe something like this as a guide just to keep it just high enough I think the last one was holes and I have to take the bolts right out so just loosen it off and there now obviously my board's a little higher than this will go so I'm just going to set it at the max for now and uh, in a few weeks or a month depending on the weather then I'll uh, raise them back up a little, again a little bit. Maybe you might even go out and do a bit of driveways this winter. Make some money with this thing. I was planning on that last year, but i got to admit, it is so nice having brand new stuff sometimes. No rust, no WD-40, no pry bars. As you can see, it doesn't take long. And um, all blowers will have this to some degree. It may not be exactly like you're seeing here. We might have, uh, I think some have holes in them for different height adjustments to keep it the same. Um, and which is actually kind of handy if you think about it. Because it's going to be, you know, it'd be hard to get this exactly the same unless you put some kind of a board right across. I guess that would work. So there you go. Now when it sits, that's giving me by the looks of it about three quarters of an inch clearance under there. Which is just about right. That way when you're doing a gravel driveway... You know, there's always little stones or whatever that stick up. They'll uh, go right over top of that. Good. All right. Let's give this thing a bit of a start here. Just plug it in. And I need to turn. This is my throttle on this one. The key is on. You're supposed to prime this one. That's one thing I didn't have on the old blower. I'm surprised it has this. You'll have to forgive me, I'm just, 
I've just gotten this thing, so. <laughs>